A major part of this course is to create a blog and we're going to start that this week and it'll continue through the end of the term. And to do that we're going to go to WordPress.com. They have a free hosting site and their tool is very easy to use, simple. So I'm going to just jump right in here and the first thing we need to do is click on sign up now. So you have to register to use the free software. And in a couple seconds, we should come into the registration screen. And here we are. And it's going to ask for just a few pieces of information to set this up. It's actually going to be very quick. I am going to start by putting in a blog address. And I'm going to use IST140 dash SUM 12. Notice it's telling me it doesn't want my dash. So let's, let's do IST 140 summer, let's do 2012. And it seems like that one's okay. It does check and you can get a free site at your name for the blog dot wordpress dot com if it's not used. If you don't want the WordPress you have to pay. So I'm just going to say no thanks, I'll use the free address. And then when you click on username it's just going to replicate what you put in as the blog address as the username. Now I'm going to use the same thing, it should be readily identifiable when you look at this that it's for our course. Please call yourself something related to your name so that I can readily identify you when I'm looking at your blogs. Next is the password, and the password is whatever you want it to be. It does need to be what they call a strong password, so put in some letters and numbers. You can do upper and lower case, and there's a few symbols. Something you'll remember, but something that's going to be secure. And then you need to put in your email address. So I'm going to fill in my faculty email address here. And they check that out too to make sure it's a valid email address. Almost done. What language will you be blogging in? I'm going to select English and just scroll down and say create blog. Now it's telling me that I have to confirm this with an email. So let me hop in real quick to my Thunderbird account. And here we are. I have activate and I'm going to open that up. And it says, Howdy IST Summer 2012. And all I have to do is click on Activate Blog. And it's going to send me back to the WordPress.site. And in a few seconds, it should tell me that my blog has been established. And here we go. So it's set up. They want me to choose a starter theme. And right now, there's a default automatically thrown in. You can go in and search through this. We're actually going to do that a little later. I'm going to say just no thanks. I'll stick with the default theme for now. That's going to put us into the what they call a dashboard screen. And you can view a little video on WordPress. If you scroll down just a little bit, on the right hand side there's something called quick press and if you want to do blogs really quick you can just go right to this section of the screen and do your first entries save it from here or publish it as they say and you'll have your first blog set up I'm gonna do one again very brief for my first one and let's just say IST 140 summer 2012 blog as my title and then for my content let's just put in this is my blog for summer 2012 you'll also notice underneath there's a section for tags that's just to show what your post is about. I'll just put IST140 in there as a tag. And I'm going to click on Publish. 
and in a few seconds I should get a change here it says my post was published let me go ahead and click on view and see what it looks like and there we are here's my IST 140 summer 2012 with a sunset not a bad default for a summer class this little sunset scene and if I scroll down a little bit here's the title of my first blog post and there's my post this is my blog for summer 2012 so I've created my first blog I've registered and created my first blog I'm going to work around adding more information there's a lot of things you can do with this blog site if you look at the top you have a few menu items uh, on the right hand side where it says IST 140 the name of the blog underneath you, you can find friends manage your blogs that's where you'd also sign out there's a new post screen on the other side you also have an IST 140 summer 2012 and if I click on that I get a bunch of menus I want to click on a dashboard and go back to my dashboard alright now here's another whole set of menus down the left hand side and as you notice down here not only can you post from this menu we can add media you can add links there's even comments and feedback section down further there's appearance you can change your theme you can go back to some of those default themes uh, just pay attention because there's some free themes and then there's premium pay themes and they can get quite costly and a little information about users and tools so there's a bunch of things you can do with this it's a very robust site and yet it's fairly simple to use I want you to take some time and play around with it and get comfortable with it again we're going to be using this throughout the term there is a blog assignment for this week and there will be one every week going forward now if you want to create a new post again there's a couple ways you can do it one of the easiest is to jump into new posts at the top or you can stay with this quick press down the bottom I'm going to do a quick new post now when you click new post at the top it gives you a few more options than you did with the quick post I'm still just gonna put in a title here and again this is gonna be just a test blog and this is a test it is only a test do not adjust your screen all right now if I wanted to I could post photos with this you can add videos make a quote in there or add a link uh, quite a number of you know your standard formatting options gonna go ahead and just publish this one the way it is there we go and notice post published again it's just a slightly different view than the quick post I can still click back on view post and there we go so now I see at the top of my screen my newest blog the one I just did the test blog if I look down the right hand side I have recent posts and there's test blog and there's my last one IFC 140 and there was a hello world that's like a default one that the system created itself so I've got a couple blog posts in here I can go in later I'm gonna delete that test blog because it's really not necessary and I want you to do the same go in and play here you know make some posts what I do need you to do is email to me your blog address again mine is ist140 sum2012.wordpress.com I need everybody's I'm going to add this to the blog list it's already posted on our lesson site on the site <clears throat> and that way you can click on the links and go in and out of each other's sites as well as I can and enjoy enjoy this and I look forward to getting your emails to add the links